So hi everybody and welcome to this week's video of RBX Excel videos. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful line chart. And the special thing about the line chart is that it does not need a legend. And that is because there are data labels on the end of each line. If you like this video please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. So in this video I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful chart. And the special thing about this chart is that it does not need a legend. And that is because there's a data label in the chart at the end of the line, which indicates what the line is for. In this example, there's an actual temperature and a forecasted temperature. You can see I have a data table with dates. I have forecasted temperatures for the whole month and the actual temperatures until the 18th of June. And the nice thing about this chart is that when I add temperatures for the next dates, like here, for example, you see the data label is actually moving with the line. And that's the nice thing about this chart. And to show you how to create this chart, I'm going to sheet two. And here we are going to create this beautiful chart. Like you already see, I have two extra columns in my chart that are needed to create the data labels. That is because I only want a data label on the latest available value. And for the forecast of temperature, that will be the 30th of June. And for the actual temperature, the 18th of June. I have to add two columns. And I'm going to show you what to put in these columns. In these two columns, I only want a value if it is the latest available date. So here I'm going to type a function. And it says equal sign if, opening bracket, this date equals the maximum date in this range. I'm going to fix this range. If that is true, I want the actual value from this column and else a zero. And I'll come back to the zero later in the video. Closing bracket, press enter. Just put this through and you see everywhere is a zero except for the latest data point, which is 21. Well, for the actual label, it's a bit more different, a little more complex because there are also empty cells in here and I only want a value for this 19. So for that I'm going to use this function. Equal sign if and I'm going to check if this date matches the highest date where a value is filled out in the actual column. So C5 equals and I'm going to use the max ifs function where this is the max range. I'm going to fix this. And the criteria range is the actual column. Also going to fix it. And the criteria is that it's not equal to nothing. So the not equal sign between quotation marks, the end sign and nothing. So this means it's not equal to nothing. Closing bracket. And if that is true, if C5 matches the maximum date where an actual value is available, then I want the actual value. And if not, let's say again a zero. Closing bracket, press enter, put that through. And you see everywhere is a zero, except for the 18th of June where there is a 19. So with this, we can create our chart. And for that, just select your whole table, including the headers, go to the insert top on your ribbon, go to the line charts, and just add a simple line chart. Well, this is the basis of our chart. And you see a blue line for the forecasted temperature, an orange line for the actual temperature, but you see also a yellow and a gray line. We don't need that line, but I'm coming back to that later in the video, because first we are going to add the data labels on the end of the orange and blue line. And to add the data labels, just select the yellow line, go to the plus sign in your chart and select data labels. Do the same for the gray line also add data labels. You see a lot of zeros on the data labels and I'm coming back to that later in the video. First we are going to adjust the data labels in here. Just click on the data label here, press your Ctrl 1 short key to format the data labels and I want the series name in the data label. I don't want the value and the little lines and I want the label position on the right. Do the same for the data labels on the forecast. Click the 21, I want the series name, 
no value, no leader lines, and I want it on the right side of the line. We can close the format data label window. And the chart looks a little bit messy now, but we are going to clean everything up. You see the name is the actual label and the forecast label. This is not what we want to see. We just want to see actual and forecast. So for that, right click in your chart, go to select data. The forecast label series, I'm going to edit this one. The series name will be forecast. And the actual label, I'm also going to edit this one. The series name is actual. Click OK. Click OK. And now you see the label name is actual and forecast. What you also see is that the forecast label is on the middle of the last data point and not on the right like we indicated in the options. That is because there's no room on the right side. And we can make some room by making our chart a little bit smaller. And I can make this a little bit bigger. Now you can see the data label is nicely on the right side. And now I'm coming back to these yellow and gray lines. And the reason the lines are here is because of the zeros in my table. I have to remove the zeros. And one way I can do that is to adjust the function and replace the zero by a double quotation mark, stands for nothing. I can do that for the other function as well. I can put that down. You see all the zeros are gone, only the values we want for the data labels are here. And you see the yellow and gray line are still there. So this is not the solution. I'm going to show you what the solution is. We are going to replace the double quotation marks for a not available error. Press enter. Also for the actual label, I'm going to replace these double quotation marks for a not available error. It sounds a bit strange to add an error to your function, but it is the solution to get rid of these yellow and gray lines. Select your cells, put it down. You see everywhere is a not available error message, except for the 19th and the 21 in here. You see the lines are gone and this is what we wanted. So that is why we need the not available error message in our table. Now we are going to do some last formatting on the chart. And that is remove the actual legend because we don't need this legend while we have our data labels in the chart. I'm going to give the data labels a color. Just click on the data labels. Give this one a green color, make it bold. And I also want the line to be green so it is the same color as the data label. Just click your line, press console one, go to the fill and line menu, click a solid line which is green. Close the menu. And for the actual data label, I also select it and I want it to be orange, also bold and in the same color as the line. I'm going to add a title to my chart. I'm going to call it temperature actuals versus forecast. I'm going to make the text bold and also green. Move this title to here. I don't want the grid lines in my charts, just select them and press the delete key on your keyboard. I want the axis text also to be green. I also want to format this axis, just select the axis, press console one and go to the axis options menu. I want the major units in three days and I'm going to the thick marks. I don't want the thick marks. The line on the bottom, I want a solid line which is green and is a little bit thicker like my lines in the chart. Close this menu. I want the text in the horizontal axis also green and I want to get rid of these outlines around my chart. Just select your chart, go to the format menu on your ribbon, go to shape outline and select no outline. This is the chart we created with the moving data labels on the lines. And I can show you it works when I add temperatures, the actual data label is moving around on the end of the line. The last thing we need to do is hide the helper columns. And I'm gonna explain you one thing about that. You can just select the columns, right click, click hide. But if you do that this way, you can see the data labels are gone. I'm gonna undo this. First, I need to adjust one setting in my chart. Just right click somewhere in your chart, go to select data, click the option hidden and empty cells, 
and check the box for show data in hidden rows and columns. Just click OK, click OK again, and now you can do the same. Select your columns, right click, click hide, and your columns are hidden and the data labels are still in your chart. So this is the way you can create this beautiful chart. So that's how you create this beautiful line chart with dynamic data labels on the end of each line. I hope you learned a lot and that you can create your own line chart with dynamic labels. If you liked the video, please give the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see a lot more of my videos. Thanks for watching.